Praise the name of the Lord Shalom family. Once again, you're welcome. Welcome to this amazing, great, awesome word and awesome session. Of course, it's your friend and your sister Irene. I bring you a very timely word from the Lord. I appreciate all those that are checking or reading this particular word. I love you so much. I pray and I always intercede for you. Returning viewers, returning subscribers, you are always at the center of my heart. And that's why on a daily basis, God will give a word to his people. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's all consider to like the word of the Lord and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this ministry. And God bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Now, I hear this person say, who do you think you are? <laughs> I hear them asking, what does she think she is? Who, do, who, who does she think she is? Or what, what do you think you are? Now, they, they cannot say this in front of you. They only go behind and murmur. They only go behind and say it in your absence. There's this African proverb that always that says, when someone is more than you, carry the person's back. <laughs> it's a proverb that has to do with mentorship, which means when you've identified that you are struggling with something, you're not getting results, but there's somebody that is just, you know, the person is just doing it with ease and doing it without you know without any struggle he said when you identify somebody that is more than you carry his back you go and submit to that person you go and follow that person following the person you get to learn what they are doing what are they doing that makes them to be where they are because until you do what until until you do what will give results, you cannot get results. It's not just about looking at the result and imagining how to get it, but also appreciating the person that has made those results, going at their feet to learn and to be consistent in mentorship, respect, so that 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 grace can be transferred onto you. They're asking, who do you think you are? Because this person secretly competes with you. When he sees you do something, they are like, I will do that same thing. But the thing is, they, they don't know how to do it. They are struggling to do it. They are competing without, without even, you don't even know that they are competing. And by the time they see you have done this today, they are like, yes, because you have done this today, they are going to do the same thing. Now, before they want to get to that level, you have already done something else. To, you, you are winning without competing. And it's giving them so much hard times. It's making life really difficult for them. They are asking, who do you think you are? Because they, they, at every point, you just embarrass them with new surprises. And they have to struggle to meet up to, you know, up to your level. To meet up to your, 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 your expectation. Or to struggle to make people think like they are the same with you or they are more than you. You just keep winning without fighting. Keep winning without struggling. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They are going to say even much more until they will humble themselves and they will come and learn. Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 60, it says, Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people but the lord will arise over you this is your prophetic word so the lord will arise over you the gentiles shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising oh my god oh my 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 lift up your eyes all around and see they all gather together they come to you. Your sons shall come from afar. You, your daughters, shall be nursed at your sight. I love what verse 5 says. It says, then you shall see and become radiant. And your heart shall swell with joy. Because the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you you are walking in light of these blessings there's no way they can put off your light and they cannot overpower your light but they have to come to your rising it is a prophecy upon your life that 
and the Lord will arise. Whether there is darkness, where whether there is difficult, we say, but the Lord will arise over you, and His glory will be seen on you. The Gentiles, whether they like it or they don't like it, they will come to your rising. They will come to your light. They will come to the brightness of your radiance, and they are going to bring everything. This is your time. Let nothing intimidate you. Let no one intimidate you. It's not a function of your age. It's not a function of, you know, your, your knowledge. It's a function of your blessings. You are blessed beyond measure. And the Lord says it's the time for you to shine. Your glory has come. I pray for you. And I pray you keep winning without competing. You keep winning without fighting. They that are fighting to meet you, before they meet where you are, they will not meet you in the same level. You would have gone higher and higher in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I love you so much and shalom. God bless you.